Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this Lunch and Learn webinar featuring Jay and T. Banker. Um, I want to welcome you to this. Um, it's great to have you uh, on board, and we hope that this is a very informative session um, about the use of hot docs. And uh, Jakob will be taking us through this in a second. I'll make some introductions then. But we want this to make this very informative. Uh, so if you can see the GoToMeeting panel, there is an ability to be able to ask questions. So at any point, any questions that you have, please type them into the GoToMeeting panel and we'll have a QA and a at the end where we'll ask some of the questions and myself and Jakob will um, then answer them for you. But just to do some introductions as to who I am, my name's Graham, I'm the technical manager at Hot Docs. It's my role and responsibility here to help customers and people who are considering document automation technology to uh, conceptualize and visualize the solution that they need to fit to their requirements in their organization, all the way through to then delivering that solution into their organization and then supporting it post-implementation and, and then really driving uh, the efficiencies and savings that you get from our technology onwards as well. And I think it's very um, helpful as we get into this webinar just to set up what Hot Docs is and give you a background about really at a high level what we do. And what we do is we take the documents that you produce on a regular basis in the format that they're in, that's typically Word and PDF, and we give you the tools for non-technical business users to transform documents into intelligent Hot Docs templates. And those tools allow your users to find all the changeable pieces of information and the business rules and then insert hot docs instructions in their place. And that really allows you to create a reusable template to produce more documents from. So we have two phases. First phase is create that content in our uh, authoring tool. And then the second phase is then the end users consume that template to produce more documents from it. And you can consume that template in a few different ways. And Hot Docs builds an intelligent Hot Docs interview that can be presented to the user either in a browser or on a desktop application that allows the users to answer questions to produce that document. So as they answer questions, questions appear and disappear depending on how they've answered the previous question to guide the user through answering all the questions they need to to produce the document they want to produce or pull that data out on other systems, so your CRM system, your ECM systems and other different line of business systems as well. And once we've captured the information you need to produce your documents, we then push it into our intelligent assembly engine and out pops a document or a suite of related documents based on the information you gave during that question answer session or from your other systems. And we also then save that data to be reused across other templates. So we want to capture that information once and then reuse it across multiple templates. And we help organizations of all shapes and sizes with document automation. So I'd like to, at this stage, introduce you to Jakob, who is head of the legal department at JNT Banker, and he's just going to take us through the next part of this webinar. As I say, um, please use the question panel um, on, in your GoToMeeting uh, browser to then ask us questions, and we will come to them at the end. So I'm going to hand over to Jakob now to introduce himself. Hello, uh, thank you very much. Uh, as mentioned, uh, my name is uh, Jakub Schwab. I am head of uh, legal department in JNT Banka Prague, and I am as well the uh, administrator of uh, Henkel uh, of uh, Hot Talks in uh, in uh, JNT. Uh, so, at the very beginning, just few words about our bank. So, JNT Banka is a middle-sized private uh, bank. Uh, its uh, capitalization is about 100, uh, 125 billion crowns, which is around 4 billion uh, pounds. Head office is in Prague and main branch in Bratislava. The bank has other branches in Czech and, Repub Czech and Slovak Republic uh, too. JNT Banka is a member of uh, JNT Financial Group. Uh, there are other banks as well in Croatia, in Russia 
and Poštová banka in Slovakia, which is quite a big retail bank in the Slovak uh, Republic. We are using uh, hot dogs for five years now, and I would like to tell you something about uh, practice, how the hot dogs is used uh, by us. Uh, we integrated hot dogs into the bank's uh, CRM. At the moment, we implemented uh, uh, the full, uh, fully uh, s retail segment, uh, which is called Clear Deal. Uh, this is really pure retail. Many hundreds or maybe thousands of documents per month are produced with uh, hot dogs, and they are produced directly from CRM. Uh, JNT Banka is uh, using Microsoft uh, Dynamics and the hot dog server has been fully integrated into this, uh, into this uh, solution. Uh, hot dogs is uh, cooperating very well with our document management system, the barcodes which, uh, 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 which are used for the documents are automatically put uh, on the documents directly by uh, productions. We will, of course, not stop in uh, just one segment. Uh, other segments will, will, follow, will follow. At the moment, we are working with my colleagues uh, on the lending documentation for our lending department, which is maybe interesting for uh, lawyers producing uh, packs of uh, documentations because hot dogs enables through this data collection reusage of uh, data which are used in one contract for example in another contracts as well example credit contract where all the important data about the credit file are uh, collected and uh, some of these data are used in uh, for example, pledge contract or contract on promissory note so that the user enters the data just once and the data are placed on the correct places where they belong, belong to. Uh, our experiences with, with uh, hot dogs, maybe the, the biggest experience uh, which we have made is that uh, using of hot dogs really uh, increases document uh, quality. Uh, not only uh, in, uh, let's say, typography, but uh, in uh, uh, linguistic uh, uh, level layer of the contracts as well. Uh, we are using quite extensively uh, this uh, uh, Cross document buildings blocks uh, in hot dogs documentations. They are called uh, templates in templates, which are very practical and uh, which could be used in many many documents. Hot dogs uh, enables as well to create a standardized document structure, which uh, could be used in uh, different documents, and so the consistency of the documents could be strengthened and uh, increased. Not only that, uh, with using hot dogs, your documents will look great because hot dogs enables to use very sound typography uh, as well. You can, uh, you can maintain your documentation, uh, your corporate identity uh, through all of your uh, documents with hot dogs, so you could be a good craftsman as well, uh, typograph or, or, or printer. And uh, there is uh, another very interesting use of uh, hot dogs, which I think uh, has not been mentioned uh, in uh, uh, other uh, webinars before, and this is this uh, ability to uh, create, uh, let's say, stru general structure, consistent general structure for your uh, documentations. I try to explain on a uh, on an example, so. There is uh, for us in the banks very important uh, legal object, legal denotation, which is labeled as account. Uh, with hot dogs, you can create a description text which says what an account is, and 
based on this description, you can create a description of derived legal denotations. For example, description of current account. And again, through modification of the description of this basic legal denotation account, this basic legal object, which is called account, you can create a description of other uh, accounts, other derived denotations, such deposit account, escrow account, or blocking account. Uh, through this, you can create a standardized basis for descriptions of legal denotations, and so you could create uh, the consistency of your legal texts. In turn, consistency of legal texts, I think, increases the predictability of such text, which, from my point of view, results in the most important attribute of any written te text which is increase of the accessibility of this text. The uh, reader will uh, understand uh, quicker uh, what you would like to say. Text, uh, such, uh, text created in such a way are consistent because they have standardized structure and because they use the same tools of uh, expression. So as you can see with hot dogs you could be a little bit scien uh, scientist uh, as well. Uh, hot dogs is very language friendly as well. Uh, next slide, please. Yes, thank you. Uh, we need a uh, few uh, versions of our documents, uh, at least in Czech and English, but uh, we are using hot dogs for uh, documents for the Slovak Republic, Croatia and Russia as well. Uh, very easily through this else if function in hot dogs you can create multilingual documents which per one click will be uh, translated and the user could uh, choose which language version should be used. This process could be automatized as well so it means if uh, hot dogs is part of your CRM uh, there is a there is a uh, attribute in the uh, client's file in CRM which says which language the documents uh, should be in for this client. So the in the language version could be created even automatically with uh, hot dogs and uh, and CRM. Uh, so uh, this is uh, this is very shortly. Uh, describe how we use hot dogs in uh, JNT and uh, if there are any questions I hope I could answer them. Thank you very much for your attention. Excellent. Thank you very much Jakob. So um, if there are any questions uh, that you have uh, please send them into the uh, into the GoToMeeting panel. That's uh, a good overview. Thank you very much for that Jakob. Um, we have a question here about you mentioned structure uh, and quality. How do you, how do you personally in your documents, how do you structure them to ensure quality? So you touched on a few of the points within that slide. How do you structure your documents to ensure that quality? Uh, yeah, the, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much for the for the question. This is uh, um, uh, this is a question which I which I uh, really like because I think uh, it's very practical. Uh, Clients from, uh, I think clients expect uh, some predictability of documents, especially contracts. They like if contracts are uh, looking nearly uh, the same, if the clauses which are used in such contracts are nearly the same, if they, if they are different only, if is it absolutely necessary. With hot dogs you can create uh, through this function template in template, a general structure of contract so that the uh, that the clauses are exactly the same in all the I mean now the boilerplates in all the contracts you are using. And not only this, because of this structure, you can even say how the clauses should follow each other. So it means if you produce contracts with hot dogs, so you have guaranteed that the contracts are organized in the same way, all the contracts are organized in the same way, 
it means they are predictable for the clients, also they are, uh, uh, they are more understandable for the clients because the client knows what he or she could expect. Okay. Great, thank you. Um, another question here. Um, what were the what were the kind of main issues that you were issue that you were trying to fix with Hot Docs? So what what were the issues that you had before that the Hot Docs fixed for you? What were the the key issues that you were experiencing in your documentation? Yeah. So the the, the key issue is of course uh, uh, automatization of producing the uh, documents, which means uh, uh, Hot Docs through these interviews. Uh, enables uh, really speed up the whole process of the first draft. So we were uh, asking our colleagues in uh, on the counter uh, how much time do they save with uh, hot dogs, and they said nearly half of the time is saved compared if you create the uh, documents, uh, let's say, uh, conservatively just uh, when you changing your Word document. This is the first issue. The second and third issue is uh, uh, obviously the uh, corporate identity question uh, because Hot Talks enables to fix the typography and uh, corporate identity. This is important if you are in a bigger uh, company, so this could be sometimes problem. And secondly, uh, it increases the, uh, let's say, legal security because through this templates in template, uh, you can ensure that the rights and duties are expressed in the same way, which means that they are basically uh, understood in the same way how it uh, were uh, meant. So the first problem which was fixed was we saved a lot of time and a lot of money. Uh, second uh, issue, which was was that our documents were in uh, or are now in compliance with our corporate identity, and third uh, issue was we increased our legal security through this uh, uh, through these templates in template. Excellent. And um, can you could you so you mentioned SharePoint, you mentioned you hooked it into your CRM, could you take us through the process by which you create a document, just a very high level how a user interacts with the system? Sure, sure, so uh, it's very it's very easy, you simply open the client in the CRM and uh, there, is a, uh, there is a menu which says which document you would like to create, you simply click the document the hot dogs and CRM feed the information about client directly into the hot dogs interview. There is, uh, at least in the Czech Republic, there is possibility to connect the CRM to the by state uh, administrative databases, for example, commercial register, so that the data are directly feeded from this uh, register into your CRM and from CRM into the hot dogs and into the documents. So you fill out the missing fields and click finish and that's it. So the hot dogs produces then the document directly into the word. You can, uh, you can uh, uh, change something if you need it. The document is uh, with the barcode directly, which means you do not have to print it and uh, uh, label the document with the barcode. You can print finished, polished document, sign it, and that's it. Great. And maybe there is, a, yeah. Sorry, maybe there is another, another. Just because we do have now the ADAS, uh, which is uh, the, which is the new European law about the about the electronic signatures. But okay, we will see on Friday how long it will be in place for Britain. Uh, but. Uh, uh, hot dogs because of this functionality it could produce PDFs directly so it enables to put electronic signature directly into the document as well which is from my point of view uh, interesting as well because you could automatically produce signed documents directly from the system. Fantastic. So. Um 
that's all the questions that we have uh, for just now. Um, I want to thank you all for uh, joining us this afternoon. Thank you very much, Jakob, for sharing um, your experience with Hot Docs um, and uh, how you are using it at JNT Banker. Again, we will be putting this video up so you can re-watch it again up on our website. And if you have any other questions, we have marketing at hotdocs.co.uk. If you send your questions to there, and we will get back in touch. So we really uh, hope you've gained a lot out of this uh, webinar and uh, hopefully we will speak to you all soon. So again, thanks very much, Jakob, and um, hope you have a good rest of your day. Yeah, thank you very much.